welcome back to Homeschooling HQ. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's lesson and I hope you've managed to write some fantastic poems like my ladybird one yesterday. And um, don't forget to post them on our social media so we can have a little look at them. So for the first craft activity, you, uh, you need a template of an egg like this. I can leave a link down below for this. You'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need some different colored card. I've got some, or paper, card or paper, it's fine. I've got some green, uh, orange, I'll probably use the yellow as well at some point. Two colours are great, okay? First thing we need to do, we're just going to cut these two egg shapes out, so I'll get on with that. Right, I've cut two out, I'll explain why we need two in a little bit of time. We're just going to put one to one side. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to fold it in half as best as I can. Obviously with the egg shapes, not quite going to get there. Alright, and then I'm just going to cut it into just some slits. Hello. There we go. Obviously not the right the way up, otherwise you'll put it all apart. There we go. So when I've opened up, there you go, I've just got like so. Right, this is where I need me two different bits of coloured card or coloured paper. As I say, card or paper is absolutely fine. And again, I'm just going to cut a strip probably about, what's that, about two centimetres. doesn't have to be perfect, but about two centimetres along. But I've done about ten strips of paper. I'll leave that to one side just in case you need more. Okay, so I'm just going to take one colour. This is where obviously the children can join in. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to weave it in and out. From starting from the bottom, nice and easily, like so. My weaving skills aren't brilliant. Okay, you can obviously always just extend those little bit of slits if you want to, like so. And then we're going to cut this bit off. I'm going to take my glue, and I forgot. Sorry, I forgot to say that you need glue as well. Take my glue. Just going to glue that down on that side, and I'm going to glue it down on that side, on the other side as well. Voila, first bit done. Okay, then I'm going to take my next bit. This is where the two bits of colours come in handy, and I'm going to weave the other way. It's a skill that the children actually find quite difficult, so it's quite nice to have the time to work with them on this. Okay, and you can you know, have lots of little practices, you can do lots of little legs and let them practice. It isn't the easiest of skills, as you can see. All right, well, give them a go. So I've done my second bit. You, you can actually just weave it like that and leave the, the edges out if you wanted to. That's absolutely fine, because you can always cut them off later on, which I'll just show you like so. Obviously, I'm doing this quite quickly. You guys can take your, your time a bit more. So again, I can just leave that just like that, and I can cut them off a little bit later on. But I am going to secure them a little bit with glue, just so they don't wave around too much. Okay, well, I've done mine. Here you go. And what now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim around the edges. So. Some children might just need a little help with the scissors. All right, again, it's a great skill for children to learn and having practice at cutting. Okay, so I'm just going to trim these off, and then this is where I'll take my glue and I'll just very quickly try and glue any of those edges that just need to be sorted out. You have two choices now you can either glue the other side as well, like, or you can take your second egg. Plenty of glue. Stick it on. It'll just secure everything. Obviously yours will be a lot neater. It'll secure everything nicely. Job done. Right, well I hope you have a great time making your Easter egg. And um, don't forget to post your pictures on our social media so we can see them. And I'll see you next time on Homeschooling HQ.